You've probably seen a yellow iPhone before. I certainly have, but was it this yellow iPhone or this one? Did you possibly see somewhere this yellow iPhone by any chance? You get my point. Now, every yellow is actually not the same, they're all different. But why? Why does the purple iPhone 12 have to look so different to the purple iPhone 14? Now, there are reasons behind it. Actually, two reasons why Apple products' colors don't match. The very first reason is new technology and materials. These change as technology progresses, which may leave some of you confused. Just look at the perplexed Apple forum user who ordered an iPhone 15 and expected to get a titanium frame, which, as you know, is only part of the iPhone 15 Pro. But the point I'm trying to make is contained in Apple's response. iPhone 15's innovative design features back glass that has color infused throughout the material. So based on this, it makes sense that the yellow iPhone 15 looks a bit different compared to the yellow iPhone 14. Although the same color on paper but a different way of using the material could make the colors look miles apart. Space gray on glass will look differently than space gray on a titanium or even aluminum. Same with the already mentioned iPhone 15 Pro. Since it's made out of titanium, the process of applying color to the frame may be a bit different and that's understandable. Although the Pro models are kind of separate from the regular iPhones, those tend to have vibrant colors while the Pro lineup is much more muted. I went over this specifically in the video before. Okay, but when you think about it, couldn't Apple, a trillion dollar company, come up with a way to make all models have the same looking color, even despite the difference in the build material? I think they could do that easily. But again, they know what they're doing. When they release a new product, let it be iPhone, iPad, or basically anything, the goal is to sell them. That's normal. And there are multiple angles or aspects of how you can convince someone to buy a new phone from you. You can play on the features slash innovation card or try to persuade them with the amazing performance. But with Apple, one of the biggest selling factors is undoubtedly the design. So at the end of the day, the inconsistent colors help Apple. Because let's say you had a blue iPhone 13 and wanted to upgrade to iPhone 14. And if the blue version looked the same, this would likely deter you from purchasing. And even if not targeted specifically at the end user, the image of having the same looking set of iPhones to sell while claiming they're brand new would be kind of foolish. So when there isn't much new in terms of tech, we at least discuss the colors. It's the same stuff that Apple did with the camera layout on iPhone 12 and 13. Just a slightly different position of the lenses and you visibly have a new product. Don't get me started on the dynamic island, which was like 90% just a design feature. But to get back to colors, MacBooks are not an exception in this rule. There is a MacBook Pro available in a space gray as well as the same version of MacBook Pro that you can get in space black. Now tell me this isn't just for marketing purposes. The colors are barely different, but it creates a sense of exclusivity. When you see someone rocking a space black MacBook instead of a space gray one, you know that they have the more premium one. So the whole thing is pretty interesting, but at the end of the day, it's just colors, right? And you can always just buy a case for your phone or a skin for your Mac. Which is where our today's sponsor comes in, and <laughs> not, not just kidding. Thanks a lot for watching, subscribe to Foxtech TV, and I'll catch you in the future video.